Hey guys, I'm Big Mac Davis here, and this is episode 4, level 5, Pigsty, of Duke Nukem 3D on the Come Get Some difficulty. Who wants some? And as we see right off the bat, this looks like an execution area where someone is recording it. My goodness. Well, it sounds like somebody crashed their car inside here and is now making their way through the LARD building and killing all the pig cops in his way. You can fall down this manhole if you want to, but uh, we're not going to do that. What we're going to do instead is find the secret area above the graffiti up here. You must have the jetpack to get here. But this room is very nice to have. It has a ton of supplies and weaponry. Hail to the king, baby. Come get some. We are now ready to enter inside the LARD building. I know it's very hard to see, Ruby. but we will make do with what we have. And there are a ton of people wanted. Now these people, these are real photographs of the 3D Realms team that made Duke 3D. Kinda cool. Just say no to drugs. Absolutely. It looks like, yep, somebody crashed their car here and is now making their way through this facility and killing everybody in his path. Interesting. We will head up the right stairs first. But, um, as we notice, this is the yellow door. We can't go through there just yet. But we can blow up the fire extinguisher. And it will actually take us back to the streets, if we so desire. Now, on your way back down the stairs, be sure to flip this switch. Come on. <clears throat> there we go. My goodness. It will open up your first secret with an atomic health inside, so be sure to grab that if you need it. And we will now head up the left stairs over here. The left path with the exit, we're not going to go that way just yet. We're going to go through the LARD room first. Now this hallway is lined with blue doors and red doors, which we can't go through just yet. There we go, Pig Cop is now dead. We will go through this open blue door, however. Turn on the lights to, um, well, obviously get some light here inside the office area right here. Looks like a couple of Pig Cops fell down below. Ah, uh, we'll take care of them later on when we get there. Go ahead, make my day. H. Callahan. Do you guys catch that reference? Um, okay, I guess now we're ready to jump down there with... Well, okay, there we go. With the enemies. 
Huh, perfect. Fair enough. Okay, I'm gonna use the shrinker here for this guy. Now, when you approach the security monitor right here, we must be very careful. There was a commander up here that spawned. Now, on top of the monitors, you can get some steroids here if you need them. I didn't want him to be in my face there. But we will grab the blue key card down here at long last. Now through here, we will be taken to the hallway full of locked doors. But the first thing that we're going to do actually is go down to the exit down here. Because down here, we'll go through the security access door. Wow, how did he get me? Do not forget to pick up the jetpack right here. It is nice to have. Now, there are two regular doors right here and the blue door right here. We will go through the right regular door first. Oh, they're both dead. Both pick cops are dead. That's cool. But look through the window right here. We see an interrogation going on. Or that had been going on. Now, if you use the audio thing right here, it will open up a secret area with an atomic health. And so now, let's go investigate that interrogation room. Come get some. We see a whip. Okay. Um, some handcuffs, a knife, and I don't know what this is. Some sort of a bloody glove or something. And we also see a ball and chain. Take away this ball and chain. <laughs> now, if you use the microphone right here, it just sounds like somebody's punching somebody, which I guess is kind of fitting for an interrogation room. So now we will go through the blue door, which is already unlocked. We will come back to the slime area very shortly. Oh, come on, please open. Show your face and your ass. What's the difference? Yeah, gosh, that commander can be tough to see without night vision goggles. We will grab the red key card over here. Don't miss it. And that's it. Now, two pig cops have spawned when we grab the red key card. First one is. How did he miss me? I don't know. The second one is right here. Uh, will he get squished by the door? No, he will not, unfortunately. So now, with the red key in hand, we will go back to this familiar hallway and go through the blue door on the right side. And we see some donuts and some coffee. Well, don't mind if I do. Come get some. And we also see a photocopier. 
Um, uh, yeah, Duke. What are you doing? You're so silly. <laughs> You're acting like a child, which I don't mind, actually. yippee ki motherfucker. <laughs> Jay McLean. You guys get that reference. Now, this bookshelf right here is a secret area, but you must be careful as to not get squished by it. It is very possible to do so. Three chain gun cannons down here, which were used as an execution for some poor soul, who was probably tortured before he was executed, of course. We must be careful through this red door for that commander. Wanted dead is Duke Nukem. No, I don't think that's going to happen. Make sure to grab the yellow key, by the way. Now, behind the map right here is your last secret area. With some booze over here as well. Now, through here, we have the yellow key, so we can now turn to the left, and then go left again, and then up the stairs to the yellow door. Come get some. And here we see uh, Abraham Lincoln and uh, George, or um, Andrew Jackson. That's who it is. We will go through the left door first, but be careful. Yeah, piece of cake. Now, if you go further in the room, we will awake the judge himself. Oh gosh, he's coming this way. Watch out! Don't want to get shrunk. Not now! Good. My goodness, the judge is very difficult. Yeah, you don't want to walk here inside of the, uh... Well, I guess you can. The protector drones blood. I guess after a while, the acid starts to lose its, um, strength, I guess. But anyway, yeah, the courtroom is just damn hard and damn congested with enemies. Eploribus Nukem. And you can even see an atomic symbol on the eagle. That's what America needs. So help me do. So help me Duke. I love that line so much. It should be used. Anyways, we will press the switch where the judge sat, and that will open up where the jury actually goes to deliberate. And as we see, the jury could not reach a decision and become a hung jury, and so they hang themselves. There we go. I just did that. I just shot the hanged corpses because it is fun to do. Anyways, we'll grab the health here, and this is the regular exit. But we are not going to take the regular exit. What we're going to do is open up George Washington's portrait. Secret level. And Judge Dredd is hiding the secret level. Top secret. We are heading to a top secret location, everybody, so let's go.
Wow, only 59 enemies in this map. Pretty much half of what was in the last map. But this map is just as difficult as the last map. And in some cases can be considered even more difficult than the last map. The thing about this map is that it is just filled with tough enemies. And not just that, but there are narrow corridors to where you can't dodge a whole lot. Very cleverly placed enemies throughout the entire level. I don't think there's a single enemy that is blatantly easy to kill. Um, especially if you don't know that they're going to be there. If you open up a door or you turn a corner blindly and you're face to face with a massively big and powerful enemy and sometimes in groups like inside of the um the courtroom itself where the judge sat if you just open the door and waltz right in there you're gonna alert everybody that's why i opened up the left door and i only allowed a couple of enemies to see me at a time if you allow everyone to see you they're all going to come for you at the same exact time which makes things very difficult so take this map slow, only 59 enemies, but dang, is this map very, very difficult, but very fun. It is a police station, L obviously L-A-R-D. And now this is the top secret location, everybody. Area 51, which by the way, in the real Area 51, you know, the real one, where everybody thinks there's aliens being experimented on or being kept, no. <laughs> There's no such thing as that. I guarantee it. Why? I don't know why. I can't reveal why. But anyways, <laughs> all joking aside, guys, I will see you in the next Duke Nukem video. Episode 4, Level 11, Area 51. So, until then, I'm Big Mac Davis here, and I shall see you guys in that video. So take care, everybody.